What's up? It's your boy Dynast. At the end of this video, make sure you go to www.dynastmirror.com. Uh, check out our indigenous African art, jewelry, accessories, and fashion. Uh, also, go to searchforhuru.com. Um, make sure you check out the documentary we're shooting. Learn more information about the documentary. Also, contribute towards it. And last but not least, go to Amazon.com. Um, search the name Dynast the Mirror. Buy a book. Made them affordable, so please buy one. Uh, what I want to shoot this video on today. I know a lot of times when I mention, you know, when I bring up Afri black Americans uh, relocating back to Africa, a lot of, uh, you know, more than uh, often, uh, there's a concern amongst Africans that, you know, the cultures will clash, um, that another Liberia will pop off. And if you guys don't know the story of Liberia, Liberia was a, a free slave state. So after the Civil War, Abraham Lincoln wanted all the free slaves and black people in general. He wanted to relocate all of us or displace us, move us out of America. So he was either going to send us, uh, at that time, I think it was an island in the uh, Caribbean or, or somewhere in Central America, Central America. Um, it didn't work out, but he did convince um, a number of free slaves to relocate to Liberia as part of the project. And, you know, this project was actually supported by America, the American government. So, you know, obviously when the black, black Americans came over, um, there was a clash between black Americans and the indigenous population, African population of Liberia. So there was a lot of war and tension. So again, a lot of times when I bring up the fact of, I mean, it's going to happen, uh, black Americans coming over to Africa, relocating back to Africa, you know, Africans, they, they get worried or they have concern about that there would be another Liberia. And I said, it's, it's not going to happen. And the reason why it's not going to happen is the black Americans that would cause a, another Liberia or who would clash with Africans, they're not trying to move to Africa anyway. The only Africans that are black Americans that are coming to Africa are the ones that are serious about building uh, and serious about seeing an Africa for the Africans, that love Africa, that respect Africans and the rules, that respect African code. You know, a lot of people say, well, Africa's compromised the 54 countries and that they're all different. But I beg to differ because every African I meet, no matter what country they come from, there's a certain code of conduct they have, no matter what. So the reason why I brought that up is, uh, I guess Amber Rose, who is the spokesperson now for all sluts, seriously, you know, she had her uh, annual slut walk. And I know for a fact that a slut walk, and she knows, would not be allowed in any country in Africa, even South Africa. It would not be allowed. So in America, obviously, we have the freedom of speech and the freedom to do pretty much everything we want. But also, we have the freedom to be ignorant and stupid. You know, we have the freedom to not offer anything of value. And you have the freedom to have a slut walk. So a lot of black Americans don't want to <clears throat> compromise, you know, I would say trivial freedoms, stupid freedoms, pointless freedoms like having the right to have a slut walk to move to Africa. And the list goes on and on. I just, you know, Slut walk is what came to mind because it was just this weekend and this past weekend and people are talking about it. We you know there aren't no there aren't any slut walks allowed in Africa. They will get shut down. You know the the people who participate in participate in that will get ran off, ran off the block, ran out the country, ran off the continent, and shipped back. So again, there won't be a clash. Because the black Americans that you have to worry about, they're not coming anyway. They'd rather stay in America. They're comfortable. They have the freedom to slut walk all they want all through Hollywood and 
uh, through every corner and street and alley in America. So they're not ready to, they're not willing to compromise that. You know, to them, that's building. But slut walks, you can't build, you know, a nation of people through slut walks. You know, you can't build a self-sufficient, a truly sovereign uh, country. You know, you can't build an Africa for the Africans through slut walking. And they know that. And then also, too, and I hate to say it, but the negative images and stereotypes that people that's being broadcast out of Africa is somewhat of a blessing, too, because they see that as well. Like, I still have people asking me when I go to Africa, do I see lions and tigers just running around through the city? Like, seriously, 2016, I have people asking that. So it was kind of a blessing because the people who aren't serious about coming anyway, that's going to give them excuse not to come because they're not going to actually take. Now, they'll research that, you know, they'll participate and find out everything on how to slut walk. But they won't, they won't research to see that, like, there aren't tigers and lions and, you know, a bunch of skinny, malnourished kids with big stomachs just walking around in every city in Africa. So when the media portrays that or broadcasts that, they'll believe it. So with that being said, that's going to also keep them from coming because they're not going to do the research and find out that Africa is the, re the richest nation on the planet when it comes to natural resources. They're not going to research how beautiful Africa is, like Zanzibar, Cape Verde, you know, all these other countries and cities in Africa. They're not going to research that. So they're going to see the negative images, and they're not coming. And then, you know, they, they know they can't participate or conduct slut walks uh, throughout Africa. So again, like I said, sometimes these stereotypes that are broadcast across, especially here in America, you know, coming from Africa are, are supposed to stand a representation of Africa. It's, it's like a blessing and a curse because the people that aren't serious, they're really not going to be serious and they're not coming because, again, they believe because the media told them that, you know, there's lions and tigers walking around the street and, you know, malnourished kids with fat bellies and, you know, kids barefooted with AK-47s AK walking around. So they're not going to come. So that's another reason why there won't be a Liberia Part 2, because they're not coming anyway, because they don't see Africa as a land of, you know, opportunity or a land of freedom. They just see war and lions, tigers, barefooted kids with AK-47s and malnourished kids. So there's no opportunity for them here. Unlike uh, when Liberia was settled, you know, they were, the free slaves were sold on the dream of opportunity. But black Americans today are told there is no opportunity in Africa at all. So that's why there would not be a Liberia part two because of the uh, <clears throat> misconception that there's not any opportunity in Africa, that opportunity that Africa is just a poor continent. So they're not coming. So you don't have to worry about any clashes of culture because there's no opportunities in Africa. And also too, there's no opportunities to slut walk or participate in any other type of just pointless, stupid behavior that for some reason gets glorified in America, but they know they won't get the attention in Africa because no they're not about this in Africa because like I said even though Africa is compromised or, I'm sorry composed of 54 countries everyone has all Africans have the same code of conduct that's what I noticed so again no slut walks it's not going to be glorified it's not going to be allowed you know stupid pointless behavior that's usually glorified here in America is not going to be glorified in Africa so there's no point in doing it or coming to Africa and then also too <clears throat> there's the misconception that there's no opportunity in Africa 
So since there's no opportunity, they're not going to come. So that's why there will not be a Liberia part two. And that's why Africans need to know that the black Americans that do come over, we're serious about building. We're serious about seeing an Africa for the Africans. We're serious about seeing a sovereign Africa. Meanwhile, the black Americans that you think are going to come over and be a threat to the sovereignty of Africa, they're not coming. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, that's all I have to say about that. Follow me on social media. Search for Huru on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. Dinah Samir. Till next time, I'm out.